All right guys, this is gonna be a super quick video. And what I'm gonna do is just take you through how to think about branding your design business. So, this is something that a lot of designers enjoy doing. It's something that they love to stew over and spend a lot of time executing on because to a designer, their brand and their personal image is super, super important. And that's not incorrect, but the way that most people go about it is incorrect. So what I'm gonna do in this video is just very quickly take you through how you wanna think about branding your design business, okay? This is from somebody that has a pretty ugly website, right? And doesn't really have the nicest looking marketing assets that still does $800,000 per year in design business revenue, okay? I'm gonna take you through how you wanna think about positioning yourself so that people automatically see you as the standout option. And it's really simply just this. Position your business around getting results, right? It's literally that simple. You'll see most designers spend a lot of time putting a lot of hard work and effort into the brand, the aesthetic, the font choice, the color selection. But the problem is, is that there's no transformative results that they've been able to help their clients achieve. This is the only thing that people buy. They buy results. So if you can start focusing on building an offer that gets people a really tangible result, and then you document that result through a Zoom call recording where you ask them a few questions about the transformation that they made, and then you put those front and center on the top of your website, you have perfectly branded yourself, okay? Of course, you know, aesthetic, you know, plays a, a little role at a certain level, but what's more important than anything is that people visit your website or they visit your social media profile and they can see documented proof that you are a return on investment. If you can do this, then you're never going to have an issue when it comes to communicating your value. If you focus on the font selection, the color, uh, the layout of the portfolio, how pretty the portfolio is, and you know your thought process, and there's no documented proof of the tangible outcomes that your clients have reached, it's always gonna be hard for you to justify charging what you want. And it's gonna be very hard for you to get attention because people don't want a fancy branding. They don't want fancy font selection. They don't want fancy colors. They don't want fancy looking stuff. They want outcomes, they want results. So when you brand your business around the fact that you get this person in this situation, this result consistently, this is when businesses start to flywheel. So something that we've experienced in our private mastermind is that the minute that people start reaching out to their clients that they've got exceptional results for in the past and they get them to book a Zoom call, they start asking a few questions, they've now created the most vital pieces of marketing content in their business that a lot of the time does the pre-selling. And something that I personally have witnessed over the space of you know the last five or six years, and this is why I bring this up because it's worked so well for me, every single video testimonial and Zoom recording that I've uploaded to my site has practically increased my sales conversion rate by 1%. Okay, so now we're at the point where, you know, probably five or six years ago, I was closing 25% of people. Now that we have 65 testimonials and case studies on our site showing the transformation that we've been able to provide our design clients, the conversion rate now on the sales process and in the sales process is like 75 to 80%. Why? because this content around the transformation people are achieving is what sells things. When they discuss the problem they're experiencing, this is what gives that prospect the opportunity to connect to somebody with a similar problem. When they start talking about the challenges that you ran into, exactly the same. When you start talking about what you did for them and then ask them about the transformation and you know what kind of outcomes and results have they seen in their business, this is what allows them to connect and say, hey, I wanna become that person. I wanna become what I heard in that case study. So wrapping up here, the best way to brand your design business is to focus specifically on somebody and then work really, really hard at getting them a tangible outcome or result, okay? So I mean, not just great branding, not just a great website, not just a great product design, but get them to where they really want to go beyond that, okay? What is the actual outcome or the result that we can measure 
that we can very just clearly say, look at this outcome these guys got. They increased their bottom line by $200,000. They had a successful launch. They got investment, right? There has to be a specific event. And this even applies to people that are in the interior or architecture space. You have to focus on that tangible outcome that people are dreaming about they want to move towards because this is ultimately what allows them to separate from their money and see you as an investment instead of a cost. So wrapping up, really effective business branding, especially within design businesses, is about developing a reputation of delivering incredible client results. It's not just about the look and feel. If you have those things and you don't have the results, you don't have the transformations, you don't have people experiencing big problems and then getting to incredible outcomes, then the great looking branding just isn't going to do that much. But if you can combine those two things together, you can start to build some serious momentum. But a terrible, ugly website like I've got for my design business multiplied by 65 video case studies and testimonials of people are getting incredible results where I'm obviously a return on investment and people are getting way more value than what they're spending with me is the way to position your design business. So that's it, guys. Hope you got some value out of this video. If you are a design business owner that spent too much time on delivering and you haven't focused enough on building the business systems, the sales, the marketing systems, then feel free to have a look at some of the links in the description below. But if you never visit the website, if you never book a call, if you never become a paying client, that's completely fine because all I'm trying to do here is provide more useful information for design business owners out there so that they can finally get paid what they're worth and turn what they know and their passion into that major source of income for the rest of their lives. So that's it for this video, guys. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.